Good kitten, internet. Today is Boo Kitty's day out and about. Can you say hi, Boo? No, you just want to hide? Okay. Oh, you just want to eat my food. That's what it is. Anyway, hi. I've actually done quite a bit between streams. I should tilt this down a little bit more. There we go. I've actually done quite a bit between streams, and I will get to that in a moment, but first we need to fire our scholar. I'm sorry, Marianne, you were really good, and I'm going to try to hire another scholar again. But there's an NPC I need, and that's a cartographer. Cartographers have an ability that you wouldn't think would be very useful at this point of the game, but I'm about to enter the one dungeon in the game where you pretty much won't need to have a cartographer. Um, they cast Wizard Eye. You know, the spell that we've had since the start of the game. They cast it at expert level, and they cast it constantly. That last part's the key part, because it means it can't be dispelled. The dungeon that we're about to go to, two-thirds of the enemy types can dispel magic. And really, it ends up being a very large chunk of the enemies that we end up fighting dispel magic. Also, giant squids, like right there, give great hugs. Once more, good kitten internet. So let's go ahead and hire this cartographer. I went to this place specifically to do that, and now let me go over the things that have happened since the last time I ran an adventure. So first off, I made a lot of potions. So you'll notice that her inventory is quite a bit less full than it used to be, but has quite a few more black potions. These entire top two rows are nothing but divine magic. The bottom row is divine cure. And this middle row here is Restoration, which cures all status effects except for Dead and Stoned. So, I only have five of those because, seriously, um, let me grab the picture really fast and I'll show you what I mean. I actually had to go back to, way back on the second episode, we ended up going to the um, New World Computing Dungeon. And in there is a potion vending machine. I had to use that because there were no potions left anywhere. So, this is what it looked like. Um, you'll notice that the game is, you'll notice that I'm knocking things around behind me. Uh, you'll notice that the game is having problems drawing all of the potion bottles. There were more potion bottles to the right, for reference. And if I kept doing that long enough, I would eventually start getting errors from having too many objects in the zone. Um, I wasn't hitting that quite yet or anything, but it was a lot of potions and I kept getting nothing but red potions which is what you're seeing on the right the potions that are on the floor are actually uh, empty potion bottles I kept getting nothing but red potions and I was constantly out of blue potions so I organized the setup the reason why I kept one blue potion one red potion is more to tell me what type of potions they are because she might be dead or unconscious when I'm trying to grab a potion so I want to make sure I know what they are and all of the white potions are resistance potions um, I would love to make four more resistance potions just to finish out that block, but unfortunately they're really, um, I really didn't want to spend more time there. So, um, sorry, once more, uh, finish out this block over here. Uh, I have to actually click for you to see the mouse. I would like four more, but it's not that big of a deal. Second thing I did was I used up those decks of fate. So, on the day that I was using the Dex of Fate, um, the effect was plus four endurance. So, I bumped up a lot of people's endurance. I believe maximum is actually plus five and not plus four. But the problem is that I was going to be skipping that week because the other thing I did was start training. So, I'm going to show you some before and after slides. So... This is what Matt looked like before I started with my level ups. I leveled up 15 times, so I'm now level 75. Um, and if you remember, I mentioned in my Q&A video that 75 is the low end of end game. We basically have a fully end game party at this point. Um, so this is before, and this is after. The main difference is I bumped up fire, water, and dark a bit, but I actually finally... How did I not... I must have reloaded a save before I mastered bow. I'll have to go back and master bow. But um, I've had to reload a lot of saves. I also gave him a bit of bodybuilding, which I forgot to actually go level up. I can do that in New Serpical, and I can't remember where master's at. 
Oh, that's right, Masters in uh, Free Haven. So, once more, before, after, really, I just leveled up kind of a little bit of everything on Matt. Uh, next up is Regina, our, um, the Fire Sorcerer, or I should say Light Sorcerer, and she once more got a very similar style level up. I didn't give her any bodybuilding, and the reason for that is that I'm going to primarily have her use the, um... Daggers. In fact, I need to swap those really fast. Give me a moment. I know you can't see what I'm doing. Anyway, um, so this is before, and this is after. You'll notice that she went from 2 to 12 on water magic, and the reason being is that I wanted a second set of Floyd's Beacon. So that's where most of her points ended up going. She also upped light up to 20. There's, I can go all the way up to 30. 30 is the maximum rank for reference. For a skill but it's really expensive to go that high so 20 is generally as high as I end up going and you'll notice that she and our cleric both uh, Ed if I remember correctly is the cleric's name um, Regina and Ed will both have a 20 in their respective mirror schools so that'll be nice speaking of Ed this is what Ed was like before um, and this is what he's like after. So the main difference is, is that I finally mastered shield. Um, I also bumped up bow and mace to their respective levels. And I increased body magic and dark magic. So really not much of a difference in his case. He was already pretty high. And I'm trying to aim for having even numbers on things because I know I have plus 50% spell levels all over the place. So it's better for me to have even numbers. Also, I used up all of my horseshoes. I forgot to mention, I did actually use up the horseshoes. Finally, we have Eileen. Eileen's the one that had the least change, because all I really ended up doing with Eileen is dumping everything into axe and bow. Again, that's really all she's going to be doing for the rest of the game, is axe and bow. So there's not really much of a point to put in anything else and 20 is as high as I'm going to go. She will end up with a third skill, but that's coming later. Uh, so as a result, our stats are freaking huge at this point. Um, outside of the character, and Eileen has one stat below 250, and anybody who has a stat penalty from wearing a relic has a stat below 250, and I think that's it at this point. Um, I'm even starting to push the 350 mark on a few stats. Uh, Ed has crap tons of personality. No, Ed is also below 250 on intelligence. Okay. And Lucky's got a penalty on. Um, just like Regina has a penalty on personality. And Matt has 250 on every stat minimum. So um, I've gone back, recast my spells. I've hit a couple of wells to make sure I have the level bonus, which is why my level's 105 right now. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's what I've been doing. How are you? Uh, today's Thursday. I think... Let's see. I think Alamos just went live today, which means... Uh, for me today. So I'm only three episodes... Uh, I'm only two episodes ahead right now, so this will be the third episode. I've been talking for nearly ten minutes about what I did between episodes. This is how much I was working on stuff. Anyway, I apparently need to go re-expert... Um, I need to go to Creek Spire, so that's actually... Oh, yeah, the speed ended up changing a bit, I think. Uh, yeah, he must be taking a penalty from something, probably the daggers. Because her, her speed is lower, but her reaction is faster. If that makes any sense. Anyway, let's go ahead and Lloyd's Beacon to Creek Spire. Yep, this is before I did the Creek Spire bit. Okay. Which is fine. I can just redo it. I'm going to actually recast my spell because my duration's a lot longer than it used to be. It's now up to 200 and something days. Yes, Boo, I know, it's so exciting. Come on, get up the mountain. Thank you. Anyway, let's go. There we go. I think that, oh, um, bodybuilding. Oops. So you'll notice that she is now also a water master, which is nice. Let's 
So bodybuilding was over here. One of these is meditation, the other one's bodybuilding. And naturally I hit the wrong one first. Bodybuilding. Jason Traveler, yeah, is in Freehaven, which is actually where I want to go next anyway. So the reason why I wanted to get two water masters is that I'm gonna be spending a lot of spell points in Darkmoor. And as a result, I wanted to make sure I had a backup for running away. Not to mention, again, I wanted to have longer lasting, um, uh, words are hard, longer lasting Lloyd's Beacon. Yes. So there we go, got that much, got an email that just came in, uh, okay, I'll deal with that later. So he's got more hit points, um, so going from one rank to seven rank master gave him roughly 50, or not roughly, exactly 54 hit points. It's not much, but he was really low on hit points. Uh, he was lower than Regina even. Um, I'm probably going to end up bumping up Regina also to seven master at some point. I just forgot to in this case, and it's not worth it. So, um, <clears throat> other things I want to do. I wanted to go spell shopping, because we're still missing a couple of spells. And... I'm in the dungeon where I want every possible spell at my disposal, because I'm probably using all of them. I'm still skipping earth, because earth spells are stupid. So what are we missing on fire? We're missing incinerate, and incinerate, okay. So do you got incinerate? You've got one incinerate, you've got two incinerates, sweet. Let's get the incinerate on. Yes. So incinerate does 15 plus d15 points of damage in fire magic. It's a very powerful spell, but it's not really that useful most times. Since, as you've seen from my own magic casting style, I don't tend to cast a lot of magic at range indoors. But I still wanted it. It's still useful. All right, air. I think I have everything air that I... No, I need another starburst, wasn't it? No, I've got another starburst. Um, what were those two spells? One of them is... Uh, yeah, one of them is implosion. Which you only have four air, right? Yeah. And the other one was sparks? No. Static charge. Not worth it. Okay, uh, water. Water, on the other hand, is something I need badly. Because I am missing one key spell. It's been pissing me off for a long time. What else are you missing? Nope, just that one spell. Oh, right. You're the uh, secondary water. Yeah, just that one spell. Ice Blast, Ice Blast. That's what I wanted. So Ice Blast is the area of effect water spell. It works weirdly. It's usually not useful, but it's very useful in a crowded room full of enemies. Um, okay, so I've got all the spells I need. Unless if I can get light magic. Uh, I think I might... Yeah, I already picked it up in between. Uh, Sunray is the only spell I was missing in light. I'm missing some dark magic spells that would be nice, but I'm not going to find them for sale. Not at this time of day. I think I have delayed about as much as I can before running into Darkmoor. Oh, I believe in the immortal words of a certain Mr. Jenkins, time's up, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins! As I move much slower. All right, so we are going up to Castle Daggerfall, which is what's up here for reference. So much better attacks. And everybody has double arrows too, just for fun. Once more, I have to be careful because there are civilians here for some dumb reason. Muhammad, you really should not be there, I'm telling you. All right. The temperature drops as you approach the gates to this castle. Legend holds that this castle contains the knowledge of how to transcend death as undead. So there are three enemy types in this dungeon, just like every other dungeon in the game. One of them is actually 
easy to deal with. Also, cast Torchlight before somebody complains. One of them's actually genuinely easy to deal with. The others are not. This is the one that's easy to deal with. They're ogres! You remember ogres? Weren't they a load of laughs? Yep, ogres. And then we have liches, who need stitches, just like fellow snitches. Liches, as you remember, power liches can dispel magic. We don't like dim power liches. And also, because of the crappy way they made this place... Yep, there's a Dispel. Oh, that was a regular Lich. I guess regular Liches can Dispel. So, you'll notice that we still have Wizard Eye up. And that would be because, once more, we have constant Wizard Eye. It's not capable of being Dispelled. So that's the reason why I wanted Wizard Eye... Uh, somebody, a uh, hireling with Wizard Eye, is because I didn't want to have to constantly recast figure out where I'm going and yes I know I need to recast Hour of Power so basically what I'm going to end up doing in this dungeon is um, not identify a single item in the game or in the dungeon because I don't have the ability to do that magical bruise so that's magic resistance what do we got 193, 184, 177, 171. There's your magic resistance. Happy birthday. You'll notice that there's nothing here, even though the item says it. Because there's multiple floors here. Because, you know, this dungeon isn't confusing enough. By the way, uh, remember how I keep saying that at certain points of the game, everybody believes that this is the most annoying dungeon in the game? This is genuinely the most annoying dungeon in the game. Because of those... Uh, you notice I've already been dispelled again. This is why I needed to keep the wizard eye up. Because I'm going to be constantly dispelled in here. I've got fear, which I'm going to go ahead and take care of right now. I've got somebody who's currently lost their sanity. And this is a very large room. We're going to run away for a little bit. Um, you'll notice I'm also not speedrunning through this. I can. It's just... It's not worth it. So, basically, speedrunning is running past a lot of enemies. And it's really just not worth my time to do something like that. Also, you'll notice that some of the dots aren't very useful because of the height difference on things. Dang it, game. Okay, something says that there's something here. Also, I should probably put on my headphones because audio cues are going to be very useful in this dungeon. So, yeah, as I've mentioned, this is the most annoying dungeon in the game. Um, there are no exceptions to this. Any player who has played all the way through Might Magic 6 agrees. This dungeon is also one of the hardest dungeons in the game for a magic-based party. This is basically New World Computing's finger being lifted, specifically the middle one, directly in the direction of anybody who makes a party like mine, which are a bunch of casters. So, so as a result, yeah, you'll notice that I'm constantly being attacked, but there's nobody here. It's because they're on the floor above me. And the speedrun way of dealing with this, you'll notice that some of the attacks are actually getting through. The speedrun way of dealing with this is to actually jump through the ceiling. You can do that in a couple of places. Just like they can fly down through the ceiling. Uh, I've got somebody asleep, so let's go ahead and cast Awaken. Yeah. I hate this dungeon so much. Because, I mean, it's really hard to tell where things are at. Also, you can be dispelled through the walls, which is why I'm just not bothering to recast my spell. And this is the entrance, right? Right, okay. So the way that you normally do this dungeon is very, very 
slowly. Let's just see how many attacks I have coming above me. That's why it's not worth recasting my spells. I'm just going to get dispelled again. Uh, you're weakened. Oh, haste expired. Yeah, I guess that actually does mean I should recast Hour of Power. Yeah, I really don't care about the ogre. At all. Ogres in this are just distractions. Also, this is the one dungeon in the game you can get stun locked regardless of what level you are, regardless of anything else. This is actually where my run of a solo archer ended. I could not get around being stun locked in here. Um, I had a run that I was doing solo archer or archer plus paladin, and it just was not possible for me to deal with this. Just look at what I'm dealing with right now and imagine the constant sleep cycles that end up happening where I get knocked asleep, lose my turn, wake up, lose my turn because I just got hit, knocked asleep, rinse, repeat. Also, you'll notice that everything has really high ceilings. Oops. Just die. I'm gonna have so many broken things because I'm not gonna know what direction's up. Okay. Yep. There is still a floating eye. You notice it's high up, so I can't hit it very well. Uh, there's another one in here. Also, there's spells going off. Alright, let's do a broken stuff check. Nothing broken. Are you serious? Who keeps hitting me with the damn ice blast? Oops. I didn't think that was a trap in here. Oops. Also, let's go ahead and cure that disease. Oh, that's not disease, that's poison. Of course it is! Because there's a huge difference between those. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hey, at least this is an area I can deal with. You know why? Because they're only ogres. You know what we do with ogres? Inverno! Actually, Prismatic Light does a lot more damage at this point from her. Um, unfortunately, Moonray only works indoors. I'm being lazy. <laughs> Don't mind me, just doing 502 damage to ogres. do a lot of damage with bows by the way it doesn't look like it because the numbers themselves are fairly low but I'm attacking twice every time I hit a button basically always clean up after yourself all right let's check out the crystal up hey look there's more enemies Useless crystal. Wait, why is wizard eye down? I have constant wizard eye. Oh, it's not down, okay. That's good. So what you're supposed to do is activate these, basically. They teleport you into bad rooms, though. I don't remember this particular one, though. That's weird. Alright, where's the... God damn it! I hate this dungeon so much! This dungeon would be a lot easier if we were playing Might Magic 7 instead of Might Magic 6, for reference. Oops. No! 
did not want to teleport into hell. Do you see what I mean about this damn dungeon yet? Notice how much of a problem I'm having? This is supposed to be the easy dungeon, by the way. Just thought I would throw that out there. Traps in the dungeon, which I never know where in the world trigger. Everywhere. Everywhere is the answer. I should just know better by now. So this is going to be by far the most trying dungeon to search all the way through. Okay. Just looping around, double checking locations of things. Oh hey look, another trap. Who would have thunk it? Uh, Alright. This is where we start using the standard approach. We're going to go set a beacon. Then town portal to New Serpical and heal. We're going to be doing that a lot. We're also going to cast fly so I can go a little bit faster. Then we're also going to recast some of our buffs. of power as well. Then Lloyd's Beacon back into Castle Darkmoor. Rinse repeat. This is how we are dealing with Castle Darkmoor. This is going to be a very long video most likely. Mostly because this place is hell. Hi liches. How are you? And what was this sign? Crimson Embers will lead the way. Hi, eyes. Alright, I don't remember. Are you immune to regular magic? I think you are. Yes, you are. Okay. But you are not immune to Inferno! At least these aren't immune to Inferno. Notice the stun locking. It's already happening. I'm not even hitting that many of them. More Inferno! You can actually see it on the night she keeps falling asleep and waking back up. Uh, deep breath over there. One more up for the big guy. Inferno. Yeah. Somehow that floating eye did not get hit by Inferno. I don't know why. Do you see why I hate this damn place so much? Okay. Liches get stitches. So the reason why we go after liches first is that they're much more likely to dispel. Then we go after the most powerful eye. That's the next one on the list. We're in center. Oh, this is the one that's immune to fire. Damn it. We're going to ice blast it. It's immune to ice as well? That doesn't make sense. Die? Yeah, worth a shot. Are you seriously immune to both fire and... That doesn't make sense. I thought the terrible eye was just immune to fire. Yeah, it is just immune to fire. I think the ice blast was just dumb. I, that's the problem with Ice Blast, it tends to not work quite right. Oops. 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 Okay. 
Now, we only have these goobers. These aren't anywhere near as bad. They're annoying, don't get me wrong. But I'm not going to die to them, most likely. And they also can't dispel, which is much more important in our case. I don't actually care about the range. All they can do is put people asleep, which is still obnoxious. Damn, I wish I was playing Might Magic 7 right now instead of 6. So the reason why I keep saying that is Might Magic 7 actually has a way of preventing status effects. And that's why you will start hearing me when I start talking about builds for Might Magic 7. The idea is that you always make sure you can cast that spell that can prevent status effects. It's pretty much required, otherwise you start eating status for breakfast. Look at how big this dungeon is. Just, this reminds me of Goblin Watch a lot, with how big everything looks. Okay, it is dusk. I need to start paying attention. Oops. The reason why I want to pay attention at dusk is because I can cast Divine Intervention. And I'm going to. You better believe I'm going to end up casting Divine Intervention. This is part of the reason why I tend to waste a lot of magic in this dungeon, is because this dungeon's hell as it is. I don't particularly care about... I should actually clean up my loot here. Not that there is any loot to speak of. This path brings us to more liches! Let me guess, one of you is going to dispel me as a screw you. Oops. No, okay. That was nice of you. There's nothing here, by the way. It's just the crystals and liches. Because why? Why would you have anything you care about? Um, let's see, time, 8.35, got 25 minutes left, I'm going to try to maximize as much as I can. Let's go up these stairs, over, and around. Hi. You're ogres, so I don't care. Time, 8.47. I'm just going to be taking the hits. Witches get stitches. Okay, I'm about to run out of... Yep. So it's time for Divine Intervention! Okay. No dispels so far. That's good. Be nice if there was a way to actually resist a dispel, but there isn't. So the way dispel magic actually works, there is a resistance roll. It's magic resistance based. But the problem with the roll is that even if they miss, they still dispel all party abilities. By party abilities, I mean these. So, oh yeah, I forgot to recast Torchlight again. All right. Let's not get hit by those fireballs. Notice that this is red now. That's what it meant by the Crimson Embers, for reference. All right, I seem to remember that going down here is what gave you all of your enemies. So I'm gonna go over here first. Basically make sure I have everything cleared out. All's quiet. Too quiet. I see some enemies. They're liches. You know what we do with liches? And I get dispelled three times in a row. Four or five. I hate... Hate dispel magic. So much in this game. All right, took care of that. Let's go down. I don't remember what's over here now. Well, I see eyes over here, so I'm gonna go after them right now.
whole lot of nothing over here. Okay, good. I think this might have been an area for resting. Like that area way over to the side and down. All right, I'm back on ground floor again. I already checked, yep. That is a useless crystal and I'm being attacked by eyes. And yes, I got dispelled again. I don't care. I am just wasting magic. It is totally worth wasting as much magic as possible here. This is what I meant by I'm gonna be going through all of my magic. power. You are flying eye. Other one was trying to circle around. Don't care. Die. I'm going to have a lot of rings. I'm aware. You are flying eye. Sweet. I can deal with you. Good. Stay dead, damn it. All right, magic, magic, mag. Everything's a magical brew, isn't it? Um, you're actually the lowest. I forgot that before. My mistake. The way has been cleared, so now we can continue on. Um, you can kind of cheat those. Pretty sure all of these were worthless, but I'm double checking. You'll notice that we can easily get condition green in this dungeon also. The reason why is that this dungeon freaking sucks. Yeah, let's not go too much faster. Yep, that's the way back up. This has a bunch of happy friendly things like liches who get stitches. So what I'm basically doing is that I'm trying to hit things as fast and hard as possible. That's the whole trick to this place. It's another deck of fate. Sweet. Um, yeah, you're... Screw that. There. Now I can actually see you. Um, and somebody remind me, please, if I haven't already by the time you see this video, go hit the shrine. I forgot to do that. I did remember about it. I just forgot about it for the, and I was actually going to start the video with that before I remembered right need cartographer. So, um, what we're going to do is go back up this ramp again. Um, I might as well cast the remove fear stuff. Oh, right. You're just loopy. You know what? I don't care. Actually, I do care. So I found out that they do count as being weak while they're loopy. So it's time for some science. Does this cure both at once? Yes, it does. Good to know. In her case, I don't care as much because they do actually count as being weak for purposes of getting additional status effects. I thought that was over here. Maybe it was in there. Now I'm starting to get confused as to where things are again. Let's loop around again. Might have been this path that I needed to go. Yes, it is, okay. Now we're entering the next section. Hint, there's more eyes. I know, nobody would have ever thought it. Damn, I wish they were undead. Damn, I wish Dispel Magic actually did something. It really does nothing in this game at all. Yes. Yes. Why did I do that? I don't know. All right, you're flying, guys. Fireball. 
Hmm. Probably means dragon breath range. Yep. Sweet. Okay. Also, I should probably wake up the knight. Right. I have no idea what any scroll in the game is right now because I know jack squat. Okay. You're still a dick. And I just got dispelled again. God damn it. Okay. Zoom out on the map so I can see more things. So that's going to be key. Save protection, and let's continue. Don't worry, I'll get dispelled again. I always do. So my thing, so this is a castle within the castle. So the way I end up handling this is that I go around on both sides first. And the shortcut's actually down there, which is the reason why I'm going this way. You're a terrible eye. And I, I think I'm probably just going to keep this at faster speed, just because this is... Oh, you're the one immune to magic. Okay. Or immune to fire. Okay. Regular flying eye, don't care. Okay. Terrible sure. You're going to switch over to Dragon Breath duty. Which takes care of pretty much everybody. Dragon's Breath is a great spell for here. I don't know why I've never cast it here before. I'm serious, I've actually never cast Dragon's Breath in this dungeon. I usually don't use it because it's so expensive, but in this case, I don't care how expensive things are. I'm just going to restore my own um, what you call it? Magic constantly. Speaking of, I better do that now while I'm thinking about it. So, beacon, set, dark more, bottom right. Town portal, usurpable. That's the other reason why I wanted two, because then I can do it both ways. Run up here, heal again before I hit mid, or before I hit one in the morning. Uh, let's go ahead and recast Torchlight and our power. Although, to be honest, I'm probably never going to have the duration expire anyway. I mean, what? Haste is up to nearly eight hours in duration. The reason why it's probably never going to happen is because I keep getting dispelled. Okay. I know there's more over here. Well, good thing I just healed everybody, right? Uh, okay. Deep breath, you. back to normal speed and loot the crystals which I have definitely not looted all the crystals here before because I never even realized that master perception was required and I think this you have to enter from the inside of the castle so let's go ahead and run for a bit I will go ahead and remove fear I keep having my hands in the wrong position for this. Uh, so anyway, um, other things I wanted to talk about. So this video series is going to be ending soon. 
So we've got this dungeon. We have Tomb of Arn. We have Control Center. And then we have the Hive. Those are all the dungeons in the game. There's nothing else past that. So... So, I need to start thinking about what I'm going to do next, and I have made a decision. I'm going to play a couple of shorter games in the middle. Um, so, I'm going on hiatus first. Um, Thanksgiving is two weeks from today, or American Thanksgiving, I should say, and I'm not going to be in the state. So, I'm not going to try, basically. And that's fine with me. Uh, you know what? No. Um, so I'll record some things. They'll probably be short things. And after I get back from Thanksgiving, that's when I'm going to start probably Might and Magic 7. I decided I'm in the mood to play more Might and Magic. And while I would like to get more time in between, that would be certainly ideal. I don't know if I'm going to have the ability to do that because I'm going to get Ushani distracted as usual. So, let's get closer. Yep, don't care. There we go. Um, so, I need to start thinking about what I want to do when it comes to my Magic 7. So. Something that I haven't explained yet, and I'm going to explain in lots of detail when I get there, is that Might Magic 7, it's not like 6. You can't get every quest in the game. It's because there's a decision that's made at roughly the one-third to halfway point, depending on how you're playing, where you must choose between two paths. And choosing one path means that you've blocked off the other path and vice versa. Um, it also means that you end up with certain... Just die, please. Um, you end up losing certain abilities based off of what path you do. Or, I should say, not gaining those abilities. So, there are the two paths. One of them is better for might and one of them is better for magic. Um, the magic path ends up being very similar to this path in what you want to do. As in, the ideal build for a party ends up being practically identical to might and magic 6. So, I'm leaning toward doing the light path. Um, also, they have the most fun dungeon in the game to me in that path. Uh, I mean, technically you can go to the dungeon anyway, but there's a quest in the dungeon that's quite a bit more fun. And I appreciate fun dungeons. Die. There we go. Next. So yeah, I need to decide on my party, which is going to take a while. Um, I'm going to record, my first video will probably end up being just party creation, because that's how intense it is. My Magic 7 is a bit of a different game when it comes to how it's laid out, and there's more options when it comes to party creation, so I want to make sure I don't mess it up. Uh, at least I think I'm going to end up doing... Uh, I'm still debating back and forth as to what game to play. The problem is I don't really have a great idea as to what else to play. The Might and Magic series seem to be working well. Oh, God damn it, I got dispelled. Uh, the Might and Magic series seem to be working well for what I should and shouldn't do, which is nice. How did you not get hit? Stupid depth perception. They're the ones that are all cyclopedes, not me. <sighs> okay. Okay. 
Nope, just not even going to. Stun lock. Wake up. Anyway, um, so I need to plan that out. I want to figure out what games I'm going to play for the shorter ones. Those will be like one to three episode things. And if that takes me beyond Thanksgiving, that's fine. Just want to have the proper plans. Are you immune to magic? Yes. You're the one that's immune to fire, so Ice Bolt. Okay. There we go. Wow, am I low on magic already. Keep in mind, my party has crap tons of magic. So, that low of magic is that I'm at 87 of 786. Anyway, oops, wrong button. So I'm going, I'm planning on starting Might Magic 7 up sometime after Thanksgiving, depending on when I get, uh, that's a lot of beholders. Uh, and it's too late at night at this point for me to go back and heal. Lovely. I'm out of magic, be able to cast that spell more than that many times. Yeah. So it's time to start using these. I'm just gonna get dispelled to hell and back, I know it. Notice how my sorcerers aren't even able to cast spells right now because they're not getting actions. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about when it comes to stun locking. Okay. You're just going to cast an ice blast somewhere over there and hit as many things as you can. Ice Blast is such a terrible spell. Why was I even looking for it? I've forgotten just how bad it was. All I need is one of the two of them to actually get a freaking action. Just thank you, okay. You have 87 MP left. I think it costs 150. Or 100. One of the two. Alright. Getting rid of stun, basically. So I'm trying to reduce numbers of things. Yep, I don't have enough MP. Wish there was like a shared life equivalent, but for MP. That'd be really nice. Wake up. Uh, wish I can cast Divine Intervention. Um, paralyze. Oh wait, you're immune to magic. Okay, reduce the problem. Meow. Uh, you can cast Fireball and hit all the flying eyes at least. No, boo. She's on my lap. See? Just trying to go after my food, as usual. I'm at 55 minutes and I haven't even entered the main castle area. This is a long dungeon, and I'm going to be doing this in one episode just because reasons. Okay. 
fireball. That's good. Now am I going to get another turn ever? I stole. There we go. Okay, got that mess taken care of. Not that I'm doing well otherwise. Um, our power. There's still one that I can reach. Okay. Day of the Gods. I don't think I can even cast Day of Protection. Oh, I can cast Day of Protection. That's good. I'll be dispelled again soon enough. I know how this works. Because I see with my own eye a maddening eye sitting there. Yep, there's one out in front. And now there are none. Okay. Running for a moment. So, I don't have enough spell points to be able to do jack or squat at the moment. I'm going to need those spell points. And yeah, I'm rapidly aging as a result. Um, she's actually middle aged now, I believe. I think 50 was the limit for that. I have a lot of nice rings. Oh, no. Of, you know, whenever I eventually actually get ID item, that'll be nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have three hours or two hours, 45 minutes until I can recall back to New Circle to Heal. Ah, uh, this is, Might Magic 7 actually has temples that operate in opposite hours, so that part's nice. As in, they operate at night rather than during the day. I'm just going to go Leroy this, I think. Oh, I'm really low on hit points. That's the one downside. Let's at least power cure a couple of times. And then even things out with shared life. That'll work. All right. Leroy! Damn it. I was hoping to be able to get the Maddening Eye in melee range. I'm just getting dispelled to hell and back. And because of the lack of day of protection, I'm getting hit by everybody. Yeah, that was not a good idea. Let's not Leroy this up. And let's go off to one side and just aggro small amounts at once. I said small amounts at once, damn it. Uh, you don't have enough. Yeah, I don't have anybody with enough spell points to do what I would like to do. You're going to switch to Ice Dolt, I think. Okay. Although, actually, against that... F oh, I can't tell. I really wish I had a way of zooming. Yeah, the terrible eyes in front is the problem. Now it's not. Now I'm dealing with the Maddening Eye, so I can use Fire Magic again, because it's immune to electricity. So, switch you over to Incinerate. Okay. So I can do as much damage as fast as possible. Okay, it is just you. I mean, I aggroed more than I wanted, but it is just the Maddening Eye that I've aggroed. God damn it, stop making my characters fall asleep. We have 93 hit points. 77. You have 23 MP. You can ice dolt at least. There we go! Okay, I think that might have been the last of the maddening eyes. No, there's another one back there. Run away! Uh 
seconds more, speeding up, because I'm going to be doing this fairly slow. I'm basically, the way I'm doing this is I'm taking it on relatively slow. Uh, I can't hit them and they can hit me. That's not very fair. Oh, I'm in green. No wonder. I'm um, taking it on fairly slow. Although in this case, I think I aggroed pretty much everybody else all at once. That's the group I'm going to want to hopefully down a potion to handle. Okay, I only have those flying eyes left that have seen me. Or that are I'm in their range. That's fine. I can deal with flying eyes. They're just annoying because they keep putting me to sleep. Okay. Got that. Go ahead and wake people up. I have 32 MP. Damn it. I was hoping to be able to get them all in one small area. What? Stop attacking over there. Just attack those. Okay. One maddening eye left. You barely have any spell points, so you can ice bolt and that's about it. You can incinerate the maddening eye. I bet this is probably the last Ice Bolt. Yeah, you have 4 MP left, and I think Ice Bolt costs 5. My Cleric is still somehow the only one who hasn't been dispelled. Not that it matters too much. It's inevitable. Incinerate you. Okay, down to just something I can deal with more easily. There. Is that hard? Yes. Shut up, me. So many of these crystals are useless. That's the annoying part. There's an item in this corner. Another deck of fate. There's a lot of those in here. Kind of like there was a lot of horseshoes in, um, what do we call it, uh, Creek Spire. There's a lot of decks of fate in this place. I missed an enemy. Let's go ahead and scoop this up slightly more. So my goal is that I should be able to go back to town when I am done with this section. And it looks like my gold and dreams will be dashed. I thought there was an entrance over here. Maybe that was actually further in and I'm just misremembering. That happens a lot. I can hear the hum. Oh no, the entrance is over here. That's what it is. How close might it on? An hour? It's not too far off. So, hey look, it's a hidden door. A wall? And you ready to see something scary? Oh, first off. I don't know why this room is here. There's nothing here. At all. Oh, that's right. No, this was the secret way in to the main area. That's what it was. Or not. There's nothing there. Okay. Whatever, game. This is what we're going to have to be facing soon. See all those liches and 
eyes and yeah uh, do you have enough spell points to recast yet no are you ever regenerating that's right, you're the one I gave up the regen item on, aren't I? Aren't you? That was foolish of me. Oh well. Honestly, I'm not gonna use magic because it's not worth the effort. Well, you, I can, oh, that's the wrong spell. Oh, well, didn't need magic after all. You can hear it. I feel it. I feel the cosmos. Cosmos tastes like Beholder. A bunch of books of learning in here. Two more decks of faint and a lot of money. A little hidden treasure room. Anyway. We're once more going to hug this wall so I don't wake all of those horrible things up. All I have to do is just jump over and that would be it. Okay, I can actually now cast Divine Intervention. All right, Day of Protection. I probably should have cast um, Hour of Power, Day of the Gods first. That would have made sense. Oh well. Okay, now I don't need to go back because it's dawn time. So I'm not going to. Neener, neener, neener. Also, let's go ahead and recast Torchlight, because I always forget about Torchlight. Again, I normally, end up, in this place, I usually get dispelled too often to ever care about Torchlight. All right, let's enter the Inner Sanctum area. I bet I'm gonna get dispelled almost immediately. Dragon's Breath. <laughs> Okay, got that. Liches need stitches. Damn it, I got dispelled. Freaking hell, I hate that. So I keep forgetting to actually wake up our other sorcerer. So. You're flying eyes. I can deal with you without magic. Uh, you're still a lich though and you need a stitch. And you are the right person to cast that. Destroy him dead. Herc 254 damage. <laughs> I know this lich is off in the corner. Oh, no. There's my dispel target and a lich in the corner. Dispel targets plural. Great. Die, please. Thank you. God damn it. So many dispels. Well, everybody's been dispelled now. So, we're all equal, right? All right. Die. You're just normal floating eyes, at least. Well, I think I'm going to recast Hour of Power. The haste is really useful. Oh. 
stitches once more need stitches especially that power lich right here Okay. You're still a lich. You still need a stitch. These two are also liches. They also need stitches. <sighs> I really dislike this dungeon. So does every other Might and Magic player. And it doesn't help that these things freaking fly! <sighs> Die, you hellspawn of evil. Okay. Finally dealt with them. Yeah. There's traps in the center. That's what happens when you cross in front of the pillars. So what you're supposed to do is use telekinesis. Or just tank the trap. Which is what I normally do. As long as you keep moving, you're generally fine. Eh, I'll telekinesis. A regular longsword. The hell? Did I not turn this on yet? Oh, I actually have to walk up to it? Or you teleported me out entirely. God damn it! <sighs> well, while I'm waiting anyway. Dead protection. Dead gods. Maybe that was the one that I just ignore. That might have been it. Just a random wall blocking you off. So I do actually need to hit this then. So what was it? Go through here first? I seem to remember that. Again, I didn't look this up in advance this time because I wanted the experience to be a little more authentic. I hear ogres, so they're probably on the other side. Oh, that's the entrance. remember now. Did I accidentally not hit one of those red things? It's possible. See? Fireballs. Lots of them. I'll hit this again just in case. The way has been cleared. That's what I thought I hit. Was it maybe a switch up here? Uh, do, 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 just jump. There we go. It's been too long since I've gone through this, I think is the problem. Oh, it's down here. That's what it is. goes under the entire place. Hi. I love it when I have enemies in an alcove. This is why I need Wizard Eye, by the way. The other side, isn't it? 
I remember as a kid pouring through the maps in the uh, official strategy guide, and Darkmoor was the one that always scared me because the maps made no sense. Well, that and um, Varn, but that's because Varn's freaking huge. So they had to zoom in a lot on the maps. There's nothing in those bone cages. Okay. Uh, do I have a torch light up? Well, I do now. Like ogres scare me. I'm dealing with my worst nightmares. Ogres are nothing. Like these worst nightmares. And our reward are a crap ton of empty potion bottles. Also, beholders. Now I'm in melee range. I don't want the potion bottles. Potion bottles are kind of worthless for me right now. You know what? You're just as good at casting Torchlight at this point. And Day of the Gods, and Day of Protection. And you're going to throw down another Lloyd's Beacon, and I'm going to go heal. Uh, TP, New Serpical. Hello, New Serpical. Looks like it's cloudy today with a chance of Beholders! Oh, I'm sorry for disturbing your nap, boo. Lion's Beacon, Recall, Castle Darkmoor. And I do have Torchlight up. Sweet. All right. Yeah, I see all of them moving around. Hello, Liches. I believe you haven't been introduced to my friend destroy and dead right. now you have see this area actually kind of looks like they forgot something in the game oh high power liches die it's the one time we're having multiple light masters is really useful is this dungeon okay there appears to be nothing else in here By the way, if you can't tell, I'm clearing the dungeon out entirely. Ugh. Mazes within mazes. Do you see what I mean yet by this dungeon is really hard to map? Crimson Emperor will lead the way. And something else just activated. Is this... That totally looks like a door. But I think that's for Wizard Eye tricking you. Since Wizard Eye is in 2D, you can't tell when something's on a floor above you, as I keep hitting over and over again. I saw that damn dispel. Even if you missed, you... That would be Day of Protection and Torchlight. Okay. Sneak around the corner here. You have to, no, you're all rejuve potions. Or at least cell bait. And 
as if you were a threat to me. Okay, that's it there. Yep, that's it there. Move back down over here. There's a whole lot of nothing there. Okay. I would really like to know who was the person who designed Castle Darkmoor. I mean, in character, who was the person, not who was the literal programmer who did it, because that's not very fun. Oops. Because whoever did it is just evil, pure, unadulterated evil. Yeah, so stepping on these is what's spawning the liches. We all desperately need some stitches. Oops. Does it trigger every time? I don't remember now. Science time. Lich spawn. Lich spawn. More liches. More liches. Hey, look, I heard you like liches. Liches get stitches. All of these spawning liches over and over and over again. Good to know. So if I ever wanted infinite amount of monsters to fight, apparently here is where I can go. Oh, you see that there's a hidden wall there? See, I can't walk through it. They can see me, but they can't really react. So they're all awake now. But they can't do anything. I don't remember what I need to do in here now, though. Again, it's been too long. This just loops around. Back to the potion bottle room. This is why I normally take the shortcut. I'm. It's been a long time since I've actually cleared out Castle Darkmoor. It's also been an hour and 23 minutes already. Freaking hell. Okay. Maybe now is when I... Oh, I remember now. Now is when I can actually go back and hit that um, blue thing in the middle of the room. Because it's now red, I bet. Just dump, jump down. Or not. doing is dropping the same longsword every time I cast uh, telekinesis on it. Is it also... Ah! Each side is a different route. So that's what this route ends up taking you to. Okay. So if that's the case, then what's this side do? That was the same. And then this side does the whole yo dog I heard you like uh, swords. Yep. And the bottom part's the part that teleports you in the middle of the other room. Yep. Okay. Why do I not remember where I need to go from here? This is bothering me because I used to have this place completely memorized, uh, mostly out of necessity. Um, I guess I could do the shortcut and then just work my way back. Or can I actually go through here yet? Oh, it's the other side. Can I go through here yet? No, I don't think I can. 
Okay. Going back over to here. Just examining my options. Always this spawning. I know there was something in this room. What was it? Was it one of these specifically? So I'm gonna hit each one independently. Just to double check. my legs they're falling asleep I'm sorry <sighs> okay normally I get up in the middle of these videos which is why I keep them to an hour that and people don't want to spend more than an hour on these I'm honestly surprised people want to watch them at all there's really nothing in here where was it am I going to actually have to open up a damn walkthrough I am a walkthrough of this game, damn it. Uh, I'm gonna do that before I waste more time. Let's reload that autosave and quickly take a look. Where was it that I screwed up? Apparently another video game ended up using the name Castle Darkmoor as well. Okay, where is that switch at? It's there. I've been there though. Did I just miss the switch? Or have all of you been laughing at me this entire time as I've missed the switch? It's over here. Run, 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 run. Uh, might be underground. Run, 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 run. Uh, this area is nothing. Go down, around, over here. No. This side. Yeah, I've been here. Oh. Yeah, I was up here before. Oh, damn it, me. Yep. I'm an idiot. Okay, now I can go back and do that. Also, I should get in the habit of not calling myself an idiot. I have enough self esteem problems where I really should not be putting myself down. <sighs> it's a habit I need to get into. So, now that all hell's breaking loose. I did not step on one of those things, did I? Dang it, me. You die. That does not actually kill them instantly, by the way. I just do that much damage in light magic. I have so much to identify, don't I? I don't know. Oh, it'll be nice when I actually have ID item again. You should be able to hit me right now. 
I hit that damn switch. You saw me hit that switch. <sighs> so what the hell am I missing? Um... Oh, you hit the switch, then you hit the cube. That's what it was. Derp. I knew there had to be something with the cube. I probably should have just gone up high instead. Oh, well. Let's... Go back over here. Up here. And now it's red. Way has been cleared. And now all hell is broken loose. Does that mean I can go up this ramp yet? I mean, I can go back this way. Zoom, 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 zoom. Wait, am I actually going to have haste expire? Yeah, I doubt it. I always get lost in here. I mean, I know where I'm going. It's more I get turned around. Which is weird, because I don't get turned around at all in reality. All right, now it's time for the... Oh, I crossed over the damn thing. You know what? No. Just no. I hit it! Oh, I need to actually walk through. Because the enemies still have a barrier. That's interesting. Huh. I wonder if I just found a slight exploit. Because none of them are attacking me here. Nope, I did not. Okay. I had to try. Must have been the angle that I was at. Okay. First off, liches need stitches. However, I am certainly an opportunist. Taking out enemies probably makes more sense. Glitches still need stitches, though. Yeah, I've got all of them to deal with. Not quite in range, are they? See, Prismatic Light is completely useless here. Even though you would think that dealing light damage would actually affect undead, but no. Did not. Also didn't do what I wanted it to do, though. Once more, liches need stitches. Power lich die. Power word die! Go old D&D style. Yeah, I know there's a eye directly above my head, because they can hit me and I can't. And I can't hit them. That's the rest of the thought. Um, however, you are still susceptible to being dragon breathed. And you are still weak against arrow. This lich still needs a stitch. Move back. Quick save, because they somehow have it dispelled me. I don't want to jinx it. Liches need stitches. Okay. Those are the ones I'm afraid of. That actually did its exact maximum hit points, but I've seen it do more before, so.
damn it. I was hoping that I would be able to get it off without getting dispelled. So close. So this was the massive room that we were in before, by the way. All right. I no longer have anything left that dispels, so I'm actually going to start recasting spells right now. Even though I'm in the middle of a combat, doesn't matter. We'll see why. Well, actually, let's not bother. Let's just go ahead and beacon, set the beacon here. Oops. And let's start dumping all of our magic. Let's go. Oh, I was too close to that. Oh, I do have a lich left. All right, got those, got that. Oh, the Lich King. I forgot that there was an actual boss type enemy in here. We're gonna town portal. So it used to be when you cast town portal that the game wouldn't pause. So you would constantly be hit and barraged with it enemy attacks while you're deciding where the hell you're trying to go. It was not good. Yes, yeah, so let's not, in fact, cast Dragon Breath on a peasant. Our power. Torchlight. Heal everybody. Then Beacon Recall. Castle Darkmoor. Which king's over there? I have to hit points in a single attack. Nice. And right, they're immune to Dragon's Breath. Because of course they are. Why would you make something immune to the best? Yeah. I'm just slightly salty. Okay, Lich King's dead. Liches get stitches. You are the last enemy down here, to my knowledge. And I'm in green. That was the last enemy in Darkmoor, I believe. We are just about cleared out. A couple things left. I'm just looting all of the corpses first. Because of course I loot the corpses, don't you? Uh, so the 15 reputation loss is actually due to time. The longer time that you take, the lower your reputation will get. So that minus 15 reputation is because the day has changed. I actually figured it out. I looted something. Is that a helm? That I saw? I know there was a ring as well. But let's just say I have enough rings right now. Um, all of these lowercase... All of these magical brews. Yep. You're getting all the brewskis. The magical brewskis, that is. Okay. So, if I remember correctly, what you need to do is you telekinesis that sign, then telekinesis that. But, this is actually what you're here for. So, you have the crystal. I don't think there's anything on this side, but I'm double checking. Nope. And then you use this. To teleport and now you're in here I don't know. you've got sarcophagi which if I remember correctly yeah you're asked if you want to steal from the dead um, 1485 is before oops. 1285 after it's not worth stealing from the dead by the way I'm just going to check to see what they are And as a result, my reputation has plummeted horribly. Like I said, it's not worth stealing from the dead. Uh, here's the only treasure chest in the entire dungeon, I swear. I'm in the habit of identifying everything. All right, and then the Book of Liches is destroyed. That was our ob other objective. When you click on here, you're back toward the beginning. So, we have finished Darkmoor. Um, 
I'm going to return, uh, let's see, I need to return to the Mire of the Damned to complete that quest, which was somebody who was flying, I remember that much. Or not flying, but up in the air. Was it you? Yep. So before, 1485, after, 5,000 gold. Incredible, I didn't expect you'd actually be able to do it. Now that the Book of Liches is gone, the Necromancer's Guild here in Roth will slowly fade away. This is all thanks to you. Here, take this as a reward and accept my gratitude as well. Your gratitude's a hundred reputation for reference. All right, we actually no longer need to ever come to Darkmoor again. Or Mire of the Damned again. That's our real reward. Uh, let's go ahead and Town Portal to Freehaven. Also, I'm pretty sure I just leveled again, didn't I? Yep, but I've only leveled three times. Um, we're going to need a Scholar again. I'll do that between adventures unless I happen to come across one on my way to uh, the Oracle. Peasant, Noble, Healer, Fool, Healer. Nope. All right. I got stuck again. Gotta remember not to get stuck. All right, I think the one up is the one that I didn't do yet. This is, yeah, it is. This is why I normally don't um, search them out ahead of time so I can actually see which one that I haven't done. Another 100,000 experience. I can now train to 79. And this is where I will stop because this is where we start getting into the interesting plot. Not that the rest of the plot hasn't been at least somewhat interesting. So we will stop with this view right here. Oh my god, it's full of stars. All right. I hope this has been entertaining. It has been an interesting one hour and 42 minutes, oh gods. And I will talk to you next time. Goodbye, internet.